Okay, thanks everybody for joining. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, this video is my unboxing of my telescope ladder. Um, and real quick, the reason I bought this is when I was over here looking at the new house anyways, when I was looking at the new house, um, I had a guy over to take a look at the chimney and, and a few things on the roof. And uh, he had a telescope ladder, came over and popped it up on the steps, got on the roof, in and out real quick. Um, so, it, it, and it was easy to transport, uh, which I'll show in the video. Easy to uh, open up, take down, and easy for one person to um, transport and carry. Um, so, I got it for that reason. Now, now that I've used it a few times, um, it's not it's more of an outside ladder. Um, it, I mean, you could use it inside the house, probably in the garage or somewhere. Um, but anything in the house, uh, I would, I'm probably going to look at a, a different ladder, um, a step stool or something like that. But um, if you need to change, say, light bulbs in the house, it's not going to work. Um, it's only telescope. It only goes up and down, uh, leans against something. So it's not necessarily um, ideal for uh, getting up and... and doing something on the ceiling, changing light bulbs, changing fixtures, painting, something like that. Not, not good for that. So, but um, to get up on the roof, to check your gutters, um, to uh, go up a tree, if you had to go up a tree for some reason. So um, let's get to the unboxing video. I appreciate your time and watching. If you haven't yet, please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know. Thanks. All right, so let's get to this unboxing. Um, so. I have it leaning up against the door because it is kind of heavy and I didn't want to put it on the ground uh, or laying it against the wall. So let's get to uh, seeing what's in this wonderful package. I know what it is, but let's uh, cut it open. So this is, I'll, I'll break the next day. So this is a telescope ladder. Um, so when I bought the house, uh, a roofer guy came over, roofer guy, foreign language, uh, a guy came over to uh, inspect the roof and he had one of these and I said, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, but then I also noticed that I have to change one of the light bulbs in the ceiling of the garage and my step stool little ladder's not tall enough and this is just a telescope ladder so this isn't going to work. So I got to figure something out for that. Uh, but, oh, have it upside down. All right, well, let's slide this out of here. Oh, this thing is fairly heavy. Uh, all right. Oh. Telescope multi-purpose ladder, heavy duty, commercial grade, with all the do's and don'ts. Don't do all these things, only up to one meter it says. Um, one times four times, so if you're, go, I guess, if you're going up eight feet, you can be away from the wall two feet. Uh, so if you're going up 12, you can be away from the wall three feet. Um, so I guess that's the standard. Max is 150, oh, not 150 pounds, nope. It doesn't have any pounds, it has it in kilos. 150 kgs, not Kevin Garnett. Uh, all right, so let's, oh, I'll put my knife over here. See if there's anything else in the box, I don't think so. Nope. Oh. oh, tape down at the bottom. Nothing on the back. So, 
of 250 pounds. Full length, 12 and a half feet. Closed length, three and a half, 3.3 feet. Yep, that's about three feet. Has a little uh, strap to it. So once you uh, collapse it, you can snap it up, uh, velcroed together. Little opening the ladder, how to open it, how to lock it into place. Complete extensions for the ladder. So on and so on. I should read this before I go use it. Before use. Before use. Ensure that you um, are fit enough to use the ladder. You gotta be fit enough to use the ladder. <laughs> okay, there it is. I don't know what this is. This is probably a some sort of carrying case, maybe. I don't know what this is, yeah. Gotta be a carrying case. Yep, it sure is. So, you can tie it up with this strap and we'll put it inside this case. I don't know if I'll be using this, but I guess if I was traveling or shipping it somewhere, maybe. Um, but, I don't know. But yeah, nice little added piece. Oh, it's good too. So the strap does not disappear. It doesn't doesn't come off, so you can't lose it. It stays on there, which is good. Um, and you just pull it right on up. Ah. Ah. So just pull it up, snaps into place. Hopefully it's big enough for what I need. Uh, if not, I might have to get a big one. Hmm. Uh, it also has on the each step, it has um, inches so right now it's 48 inches to the top from here from this step to there it's 48 inches uh, 44 40 that doesn't seem right so that's only four inches that's not right well I see 40 I see 44 I see 48 uh -oh, that is. all right so there are in order to, to detract it or to whoa there's two red buttons there. So these buttons take care of the one up above. So if I push them, you don't have your fingers in there. Bam. See that? Now, uh, bingo. So that is how you open and close it. So let's uh, close this one. So you, well, you really can't get your fingers, I mean, you can get your fingers stuck in there. Um, but, or definitely will hit there. It's under the rubber pieces. Um, but unless you got really fat hands. But anyways, just be careful because they do come down pretty fast as you just saw. So, um, yeah, not sure what the numbers are yet. Numbers? Numbers say anything? I don't know. I'm not sure. But so I guess 32 is three, two and a half feet. Nope. Anyways, um, I'll figure it out. So you can't do it by one of these little levers. Oh, I guess you can. Let's up. No, you can't. You have to hit them both. You can hit them both individually like I just did watch. So I click that one. The gravity or the weight of this one pulled it out of the lock uh, mechanism and then push this one. So you could do them one at a time but uh, or you can do them both at the same time. So that's it. I will uh, definitely read all about this thing to make sure that I don't uh, want to mess it up and know how to use it before I go stepping on it. 
Um, do not put hands on steps. Uh, yeah. Let's see, what does it say? Anything on the other side? No. So, but that's it. I will give it a shot today. Uh, I'm going to check some gutters this afternoon. Uh, if the ground is dry enough. Uh, but I'm going to go take this out there and um, use it. So, um, maybe I'll do a quick, um, what's it now? Um, time lapse of me climbing up the ladder and using it to check out the gutters. But yeah, so that's the new toy for the garage, for the house. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Okay, thanks everybody for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, the video, it's, it's a nice ladder. I have no issues with it, no complaints. Uh, like I said, I've used it a handful of times. It's not ideal for doing stuff inside the house. Uh, it's really an outside ladder. Um, and so, unless you're trying to use it to... You know what? I just learned something else. I just thought something else. So say you have an attic somewhere, right? Uh, and your um, steps to go up to the attic, either in the house or say in the garage, if you have a, a space above the garage, uh, and the ladder's broken, something's wrong with the ladder, you just can't use it for whatever reason. This is a good alternative. Um, although they do sell those replacements. I saw them in, in, in the uh, big box store not too long ago. I was wondering how they put them together, but they actually sell them all in one unit. But anyways, uh, if you needed to get up there like that, that's that would work. Um, but for the most part, it's an outside uh, type of ladder. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, I'll leave a description. I'll leave, com I'll leave, I can't even speak. I'll leave uh, details in the comment section related to the product and where I got it from and that kind of stuff. So I appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.